guys how are you and have the lockdown at your hand just enjoy yourself so today i'll be showing you how to do a face mask i've actually tried several patterns and this is the best so far so this is what the mask is going to look like thank you okay so um guys today i'll be showing you how to draft the pattern for the mask so you can make as many masks as you want to make maybe for yourself or for commercial purposes so the first thing we're going to do is to draw a rectangle with a length of 17.5 centimeters and a breadth of 17 centimeters so from here to here now is um, 17.5 centimeters and then the breadth will be 17 centimeters guys please ensure that it is a straight line because um, if it's not straight it's going to affect our pattern okay so we'll be doing the rectangle i'm actually starting from the scratch so that um everyone will be on the same page with me okay so here to here now is um 17.5 centimeters and here to here is um 17 centimeters so from the top from the top uh, measure 10 centimeters downwards this is 10 centimeters 10 centimeters and then you draw it into a straight line Okay, so now from the middle point, um, from here to here is 10 centimeters, guys. You can have steric here. So from, from here now, we should go up by 4 centimeters. Go up by 4 centimeters. We're going to use all this point later on, yeah? Okay, go up by 4 centimeters. Then you come to the left side of your, of your paper. Then you, from this 10 centimeters this middle line let me, let, me, let me refer to it as a middle line so from this middle line you come down by three centimeters i hope this is not too technical but i'm sure you you appreciate it later then um you go up from this middle line go up by five centimeters then you are steric it okay so on this five centimeters here go inward Draw a straight line inward, a straight line of 8.5 centimeters, yeah? Asterisk this part. And also on this straight line too, you mark 1 centimeter. It's 1 centimeters. Okay, so from here now, the next thing we are going to do is to come to the top right here. And then we mark 4 centimeters inward. mark four centimeters inward and then on the bottom right here you mark 3.5 centimeters inward so from this 3.5 centimeters i want you to come down by 0 0.5 centimeters guys please just take your time to do this i'm very sure that you appreciate it later so we can actually clean this first one i asked it because it won't be useful I hope you understand what I did. So I came here, from here to here is 3.5 centimeters, and then I came down by 0 0.5 centimeters. So the next thing we are going to do now is to draw, is to join the lines. So now we're going to um, join the straight lines first. So now we're going to join this to this. If you follow these steps exactly, then you're going to get the exact same thing with me. You join this line as well, this and this. I hope you're getting it. Ensure it's a straight line. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is to join this point to this point. I don't want to put letters. I feel it's unnecessary because if you follow it exactly this way, I'm sure you're going to get it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. We're going to join this line to this line. You know it's a straight line, but it's not going to be straight. You can just come out a little just come out a little out of out of the out of the reference line which is this box just come out a little make a little curve 
until you meet this line here yeah? until you meet this point so the next thing we're going to do is we want to join this and this with a curve but in order to get the perfect angle for the curve you're going to come here to this corner and get an angle of 45 degrees yeah get an angle of 45 degrees and go up by 2.5 centimeters you know from an angle of 45 degrees just go up by sorry from an angle of 45 degrees just go up by 2.5 centimeters which is this so now we're going to get a curve that will join a perfect curve that will join these three points together so now using my curved ruler i've gotten the perfect curve you can see so i will join these three together okay okay so this part to this part too in order to get this kind of angle you know um because this is the nose area so we want a kind of angle that will sit well on our nose so we won't have to get a nose wire you know there are some marks a lot of marks are out there um where you have to get a nose wire so that it will fit perfectly on your nose if you use this pattern trust me you don't need a nose wire so um at this point now at the same angle of 45 degrees you're going to measure 2.8 centimeters inward you measure 2.8 centimeters at an angle of 45 degrees measure 2.8 centimeters from this corner here so now what we want to do is to join these three curves one two this three points are one two three yeah now to get the perfect angle that will sit well on our nose because that's the whole point of the mask if it doesn't sit well on your nose then you're better off not wearing the mask <laughs> Okay, now, so we're going to join these three angles together. Okay, so the next thing now, we're almost done, guys. So the next thing is to join this and this, but it's not going to be a straight line. You know, our nose, our face is not straight. There's no part on our face that is actually straight here. Yeah? So we need to get the angle straight. So what I would advise is that you make your ruler curve so well you can use the bottom part of you can use an ammo ammo curve or probably i think a pants curve will not work i think um, a hip curve will do so you can use the bottom part or you can use you see this this type that i have if you have this then i think this, this is actually better or an ammo, ammo curve so you use the bottom part to join this point and this point try and ensure that it's curved yeah it's curved so this is our mask guys so um the one last thing we're going to do we're going to cut this house but you know the mask on the mask you need to attach um uh an elastic band yeah so we, from here so this is our mask now yeah this is the pattern yeah yeah there's all this point so come inward from this point now come inward by four centimeters four centimeters here and here too on this same line four centimeters and make a straight line okay so I'll cut this out and then I'll show you okay so I'm going to cut this out now just try and cut it gently and guys you don't have to include the seam allowance no? the pattern has already accommodated the seam allowance so so by the time you're sewing you just you just sew in um a quarter of um, an inch which is fine a quarter of an inch is fine as a sewing allowance so i'll be cutting this exact pattern half just be careful when you cut You can use any kind of paper if you have a pattern paper it's fine if you have a brown paper it's fine if you have this is an hair for paper i'm actually using it's fine you can use any kind of paper just ensure that you keep your paper safe so guys 
this is the pattern we're going to use so this is the outer part and if you well we've actually been advised to use um, a three layer of mask so that um on a cotton fabric 100 percent cotton fabric yeah so that it can protect us well and keep us safe yeah so what we are going to do now this is the outer part so you remember that i asked you to mark this line which was four inches inward yeah so we're going to fold this in and use this part to cut the inner layer so the inner layer can be used um to make a filter pocket uh, some people want to put an extra layer of fabric inside um, the mask you know so it can give them extra protection so we can use this after folding it this is the full mask and after folding it here so we can just cut out the same thing the exact same thing just cut it out and this is going to make the be careful i'm actually rushing because i think the video is too long um, just ensure that you cut it carefully So now this is the outer part let's keep this aside and this is the inner part yeah so on this inner part which is going to be our filter pocket we're going to measure 2.5 centimeters inward 2.5 centimeters sorry and then 2.5 centimeters and then connect this this point so guys this is the end of the mask so um in the next video i'm going to show you how to cut it on your fabric and then how to sew it into a mask and then trust me trust me guys i'm sure you'll come back to this page to <laughs> to to testify let me put it that way thank you very much for watching my video um the next class probably i'll do it this week and then i'll go i'm going to upload it thank you very much and have a great day guys bye